Hi everyone, I'm Emily and today is June 3rd. The Devo passage for today is Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 6. So let's read it together. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 6. Blessings for obedience. And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. When I first read this passage, I thought, wow, what a cool blessing. And then I noticed the word if. If indicates a conditional blessing, which means God is saying that the Israelites have to obey him in order to get this awesome blessing. Why would God make it conditional? Why not just give the Israelites or us the blessing anyway? So in this new covenant that God made with Israel, he gave them guidelines, and one of them was to honor their relationship with him by living obediently. When we read this passage, it is easy to see all the blessings, benefits, and advantages of obeying God. And we might think, well, it's obvious, Israel, just obey God and all will be well. But upon deeper reflection on my own life, I think, well, am I obeying God all the time? I clearly know the blessings from obedience, but do I always follow his commands in my daily life? We see the lives of the Israelites and we learn from them, but at the same time, we still do many of the foolish things they do. To me, this passage is a strong reminder that I have a covenant with God to honor and obey him. God gives us these guidelines and this condition because he wants the best for us. He wants us to obey him because he loves us and we should want to obey him out of love for him. I honor and obey him because I want to, because that is what he deserves. And he made this covenant with me because he loves me. Another thing that I thought about while reading this passage is that sometimes it's hard to know what obedience to God truly looks like. In light of the protests, riots, daily difficulties of life, what should we do to obey God? For me, it's important to look in the Bible first, but it shouldn't stop there. We need to do our own research and educate ourselves through commentaries, books, conversations with other people, and continuous prayer and reflection in God's presence. I hope you are encouraged by this passage, and may we continue to seek to obey God in all aspects of our lives.